ni a tourist in studio. Mina penda ma pensi. Mina penda kuskia stories awa se. And you can imagine, I am super psyched up for this conversation. Karibu ni sana. I I really love love, and I love hearing stories of people who 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 gone before us in marriage. You know. You're welcome. Probably tell us because I've called you the authorities. Uh, I don't know who wants to speak for the family, but yeah, you can probably tell us your individual names. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Hey, uh, submissive <laughs> woman. <laughs> He's really looking at the husband. <laughs> to start. Okay. Uh, my name is Denisha's Otori mm. Ah. Yeah. Amazing. Yes. And my name is Alice Jane Guara. How long have you guys been married? Two years. We are clocking in three years this year. Ah, amazing. Where did you guys meet? Me nataka kujua your story. The story where you <laughs> met. Alikukati aje, alikuingiza box aje. Tupate tips. Okay, so start. <laughs> 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 we love to start. Uh, this is the part I love about couples. Yeah. Eh? <laughs> where you ask something and then they have to look at each other. <laughs> No one wants to start, so mm -hmm. one wants the other to speak. But yeah, please tell us, where did you meet? Uh, let me say, we met in, we met in church. Uh -huh. Yeah. Hey. Uh, we go to reconciliation at the cross ministries. Mm -hmm. That's where I met Alice, mm -hmm. Guara, the love of my life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, that's, that's where the, the journey began. Uh, I, f I found her in church, and uh, I, I was not yet coming in that ministry. I came in as a guest, so I saw her. Uh, that look, <laughs> yeah. So she has that those look, and also with time, spend time with her uh, through the the ministry. And uh, let me say, what drew me to her is that she is she is she is such a giver. Yeah, and also uh, I can give you testimonies of her because uh, she used to even at times stress over that she doesn't have money to give to someone. Every person in church can tell you that she used to give them gifts for every birthday. She can donate it for each birthday, for every person. As in, no one in church has not been given gifts by her. So uh, that heart of a giver, I saw that heart of a giver. Yeah. Alice, yes. when was the first time you noticed him? <laughs> it took time. <laughs> 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 yes, I took quite time. Uh, and it's until he said it is when I noticed, oh, so it's there. <laughs> yeah. So when was the first time you noticed him? Like when was the first time you Limwana? Because I wow, mm. my knight in shining armor. <laughs> <laughs> I used to see him come. Then he said he was a guest. I used to see him come in church, but I never really interacted with him until we, our pastor uh, directed us to go for a conference at Sitam, I think it was Andrew Womack. Mm -hmm. So I went there early and so I was looking for any face that is from Reconciliation at the Cross. And I saw him and said, ah, I usually see him, but we've never spoken. So I, it's called what? Yeah. So I spotted him sitting somewhere and I said, ah, that must be someone from Ratsi. So I went there and asked him if he has seen any other members in Ratsi. And then now it's the first time I asked him his name and he said it's Denisha's and I laughed at him because I couldn't believe. <laughs> He's such Someone a has a name like Denisha. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, it sounded delicious. <laughs> yeah, so he showed me the ID. Uh, yeah, then I asked him how long he has been there. Like that's the first time I encountered him now. I didn't see him the way maybe you'd have wanted me to see him. Yes, and I think that's also the first time he saw me and it registered in his mind that this is the one. For me, it didn't register at that time. Mm -hmm. Yes. The uh -huh. yeah. you. So it's until he came and one time told me uh, about, I, I, asked, I used to ask him, why, why do you uh, escort me? To the stage, like what's the reason? Hey. Like I don't get we it. Call Uber. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. I've been going to the stage all this time, and nothing happens to me. So why do you always insist on doing that after church? 
and I think I, I also got aggressive and I'm like, no, you can't do such things. You just don't come into the someone's yes. life <laughs> and you do such things and it's like you're not expecting anything in return. Uh -huh. So I demanded what mm. are you expecting mm. and I was also assuring him that <laughs> I hope it's not something serious. <laughs> <laughs> you want something serious? Why? Because <laughs> I told Jesus I wanted to be with him with ten in ten years. I told him give me ten years, Lord. <laughs> yes, women. <laughs> and I told him about it. So that's when he said, No, 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 no. We have feelings for you. And I ran. Yes, I ran away and <laughs> climbed my, my motor to and went home. <laughs> Delicious. Yeah. When was that? <laughs> when did you first ask her out? Mm. Uh, let me see. Uh, when she looks <coughs> like she's tough. <laughs> 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 yeah. I uh, used to, there's a time I used to escort her at that particular time. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a time I asked her out on all those days when escorting her that I wanted to date her. I wanted to meet her. At least we at least have a proper one. A sit up. But uh, as she's told you, the time I told her about her feelings, <laughs> <laughs> she <laughs> just hiked up um, um, a tree and went away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because she was that person that doesn't want to waste time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Because you want someone who can hang around, mm -hmm. someone who is not serious. Uh -huh. Yeah. So after I was told that I didn't give up uh -huh. because there's something that happened at church. Mm -hmm. At church, they usually, they, they usually bring uh, people to talk to couples and other people like singles. Mm -hmm. They brought up a, 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 a program and they asked us, have you ever done a DTR? Mm -hmm. Like you, you, you tell people, uh, you, tell, like, you tell the person what you want the goal, what mm. is the goal of this relationship? What is the goal of what you want to do? So that don't waste some t someone's time because the people will stay with people like three years. You've not mm. told the lady what you want. Yeah, so it's like you're taking the lady for a ride. Mm. So they came and told us, uh, they, they, the, the, the couple were called, they were songers. They mm. were songers, they came and taught us about that. Have a DTR, tell the person what do you want, mm. yeah. So when you lembiwa what he wanted after we saw you and when the system was up group, what happened? Hey, no, he came <laughs> <laughs> with another shock. Yeah. He told me what I wanted to say that day before you ran away was uh -huh. that I wanted to be my wife. Ah. So he never asked me to be his girlfriend. To we jump said, from ah. very delicious. To <laughs> jump from <laughs> <laughs> we have jumped from <laughs> she does not want to do the system was up group to wife. Yeah. Mm. So um, I had dated before, so the, the theme of girlfriend, boyfriend felt like it wasted a lot of my time and I didn't want that anymore. Mm -hmm. And when he said, he didn't use the word, I want you to be my girlfriend and rather used, um, I want you to be my wife. Hey, I thought again he's serious. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, eh, eh, sometimes God speaks to you and you feel like, eh, God, you're too serious about <laughs> So I was again scared, but the a beautiful kind of scared. Because I'm like, wow, oh yeah, he's serious. And I told him, let me think about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then <laughs> I thought about it. <laughs> See, the rest is history. <laughs> For how long did you think about it? <laughs> I took like three months. And actually, <laughs> now when I came back after those three months, and now he called and told me now I, I want to meet you so that it's been three months now so that we talk about this. And when we met, he told me I'm still here. And even if you say today again, hey! I give you another time, I am going to wait because I'm not, not changing my mind. <laughs> Eh, again, I said, eh, this guy is serious, Lord, what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I said, okay, like I said, I'm afraid, mm -hmm. afraid, but in it with God. I said, if God is doing this with me, then I am in mm -hmm. for this. And that's how we started our journey of six months to our wedding. <laughs> yes. Wait, delicious. Three months. Do you tell me when you go through your mind? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I love the reaction of your wife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, you know that in my mind I was thinking, why is she taking longer? Wow. Because I, I really, I was so serious about it. Mm -hmm. I was not joking as in, I didn't have a team, like two people I was thinking of, mm -hmm. this other lady and this other one, no. I had focused on her. Mm -hmm. And so I said, I'll still keep my focus, but mm -hmm. I know it was, uh, it's not easy mm -hmm. for me. But what I just did is like I oh poured out my heart sorry, sorry, sorry. before the Lord and asked him. <laughs> That's what, uh, she is the one I saw. Mm -hmm. She is the one that I really want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so I didn't give up. I said, let me pursue her still. Because if you want something, you have to pursue. Uh, the proof of desire is pursuit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, You can't say that you want something or you desire something and you can't pursue. So I said, I'll still pursue. I will not give up on that. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> It is in God, you'll go to three, three months. <laughs> <laughs> you just think at least it was three months, it was not three years. For me it was not three months, it felt like a <laughs> year. <laughs> yeah, oh my waiting. goodness. Yeah. So how was the, now after the yes, yeah. uh, how was the journey from now she's now not someone you, okay yes you're still pursuing but now she has said yes, yeah. how was the transition in between now? Yeah. Between that time mm. and the wedding time? Yeah. Uh, the good thing in our church, we usually have uh, premarital classes. Mm. So we just, uh, after she said yes, mm -hmm. I signed us up for that premarital oh, class. You didn't want to, you didn't <laughs> want to take chances. I didn't chances. want to waste time. <laughs> <laughs> she <laughs> might change hey, her mind. Yeah, yeah. Madam might change her mind. Yeah, yeah, we signed for prima classes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we started prima classes at church. Yeah. So how long did you do the premarital? They usually take for 12, 12 weeks. Ah. Yeah. So that's about another three months. Yeah. Mm. Ah, okay. Yeah. So in between the time, how long did you guys date before, like now, in between? In between. The, the praying, yeah. the, um, the courtship, because yeah. during um, premarital you're doing courtship, yeah. and then now to the wedding. How long was it? When I tell <laughs> Ladies are good with yeah, this yeah, remembering yeah. dates. Yeah. I think um, we were still dating even when we were in Prima, because mm -hmm. the moment we leave Prima, we meet and we talk about uh, things that we've been taught there, like <coughs> handling conflicts, communication, mm -hmm. and all that, and money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I did Twitter. I didn't <laughs> like much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and we'd meet and talk about it and talk about our fears. Like, mm -hmm. that's how our dates look like. And mm -hmm. eat. <laughs> eat very well. <laughs> and it's funny that anytime we were not figuring out something, we'd go and eat. Mm -hmm. Yes, and after eating, and the Lord will solve the rest. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. So, so it was like a period of six months. Ah, so yes. the whole dating period was like six months. Yeah. Ah, amazing. Okay. Yeah. So to go into the jambe as much to date five years. Ah. To go to the danganya. Because I mean, it's working. You guys yeah. have been married for almost let's three call years. it three years. Yeah. You know, so it's it, it's it's quite something. Yeah. So let me ask you um, a question that I know both of you might not want to be honest with me, but I want you to be <laughs> honest. Yeah. Uh, what's that one thing if you knew about him, you'd yeah. not have married him? The one thing, ungejua akikukatia, ungekubali. Honestly, I'm, I'm trying to run in my mind. I'm not seeing, I think it's because we're already married. I'm not seeing, but I'll answer like this. Marriage is an institution mm -hmm. with two very imperfect people mm -hmm. Hmm? united mm -hmm. by God. Mm -hmm. Yes. Delicious. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I think she's taken my answer. Ah, yeah. Jamini. No, you must sure, have something else. Uh, mm -hmm. For sure, you can say that when you're coming in together, marriage is that institution that she has said. Mm -hmm. It's an institution mm -hmm. that you are not, all of you are not perfect. Mm -hmm. You have weaknesses. I can wake up in the morning, see something different mm -hmm. about her. Mm -hmm. So something that may be weaknesses that she has. Mm -hmm. But one thing is this, that love mm -hmm. conquers that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because love covers a multitude, as the word of God mm -hmm. says, Ma love covers a multitude of wrongs mm -hmm. or sin. Mm -hmm. The same way as the way God loved us. When God looks at us, he sees there is a weakness, but God looks overlooks because of his love. Mm -hmm. Love covers. Mm -hmm. 
So when I look at her, I don't look at those weaknesses. I know she has weaknesses, the same as I do have weaknesses. And she's the person she knows my weaknesses. Mm. She's the only person who knows my weaknesses more than any other person. Yeah. yeah, but she has chosen to love me. And the same, I've also chosen to love her. Mm. Yeah. So what's the <coughs> one time yeah. you had a very difficult moment in your marriage? Mm. What was the most, what has, what has been, like, what was the most difficult thing about your marriage? Something you encountered? Let me say, uh, in the area of finances, mm -hmm. there are times that we will uh, like nearly sleep hungry because mm. we didn't have anything in the house. So, uh, but she st stood with me at that particular time. There are times I felt like even I could have even walked to work because I didn't have any money. Yeah, being with her and also her. She has the time that she, she was nearly walking because we didn't have any money amongst ourselves. Yes, we go to church, we might smile. Mm -hmm. People look at us and say, hey, these guys, are, hey, they are doing very fine. Mm -hmm. But that moment, we didn't have anything. Yeah, but uh, God, God has been faithful through that journey. Mm -hmm. I know that was a stretch I felt at mm -hmm. that particular time. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe she can tell us about the same. <laughs> <laughs> please, please tell <laughs> us. <laughs> I think that's it, actually. Uh, but looking at it that um, the, we, our pastor teaches us about um, God being our provider, mm -hmm. so it sustained us in that. We know that everything we have is his actually, and he's the one who provides, he's the one who gives us the ability to make wealth mm -hmm. and even jobs. So when you remember that, you're like, ah, I'm sorted, like... I'm okay. And then also another thing that we have is the joy of salvation. Mm -hmm. That knowing that there's someone out there who loves you, mm -hmm. who who knows what you think and your worries, your anxieties and what whatever is in your heart, he knows. Mm -hmm. And that kept me going that. And that's why before I love him, we have to meet in the center, mm -hmm. which is God. Mm -hmm. And there are so many things that I take to God <laughs> before I take to him. Uh -huh. So that by the time I'm bringing it to him, it was so imperfect when it was with me. So I took it to God. Then he made it perfect. So I'm able to communicate it to him in an easier way. Say, wow, today was a tough one. But God, see, and there's peace mm -hmm. there. And he's also affirmed. Mm -hmm that I'm there, I'm still there. Mm -hmm. And I, I remember that time I kept telling you, <coughs> I'm not going anywhere, I'm still here. Yeah. And we have God, mm -hmm. and he's still here yeah. with us. How was your first year of marriage? Mm -hmm. First day. <laughs> first year. year. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> yeah. You know the way they keep saying that, mm -hmm. oh, the first year. Mm -hmm. I don't believe in those things, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The way they keep saying, I've heard people talk about, oh, the first year will be the most difficult year of marriage. You're mm. going to quarrel because you're trying to l fit into each other's lives. And I don't believe in that because I'm like, I mm. mean, mm. we have been friends. Then yeah. there's the pattern of God in yeah. the place of marriage, yeah. you know. Mm. So I would want to know from you, you are believers mm. and you being a married couple. How mm. was your first year? Umezoya kuka peke yako. Denisha tumezoya kuka peke yake. And then suddenly do our make into each other spaces. Now this is how I like my things arranged. Denisha has come you would attack ika hivi amepindwa ila kai hivi and you're like. Yeah. And I think that part prima primary for counseling mm -hmm. really helped us and uh, giving us a view of how it can look like. And then now we are unique. So that means it, will, it is also going to be different, but in our own mm -hmm. way, how we want it to be, mm -hmm. of course, with God. Mm -hmm. So sometimes <laughs> personalities <laughs> will clutch to Dogo. And um, I think one time, I think I was so used to <laughs> sleeping alone. <laughs> so <laughs> I think the first day in the morning I'm waking up, I'm like, what? Who is here? <laughs> what is he doing here? <laughs> <laughs> and then I realized, oh, I'm married. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, saw a I saw a video, TikTok video yesterday. Yeah. 
saying the same thing mm. someone the lady was saying after you've been so used to staying alone for so long and then now you realize you're married and you have someone <laughs> so the, the hubby woke up and woke her up and you're like ah, what are you doing here <laughs> Yeah, and also I think there's also a day I was going to the stage I used to go when I was single. Uh, and then I remembered half to half way I'm like, what? Wh where am I going? I'm married. I'm, I'm, we are living somewhere else. So I have to go there, like uh, figuring out those mm -hmm. times. And But it's been apart from those differences and also knowing our differences and actually accepting it because even in the premarital, we keep referring to that because that really helped us. Mm -hmm. uh, we were taught about personalities and how to, it's called what? Uh, to gel. Yeah, to gel with each other, mm -hmm. even with different mm -hmm. personalities. Mm -hmm. So that also helped us. Uh, I'd see he, he, he has put something different because when I was living alone, <laughs> I didn't know if someone was in my house because I'm like, that thing was not there. Yeah. Why is it there? and all that, and now I'd come, uh, we are sharing a room, <laughs> we are sharing our sitting room, and we are sharing our kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> so there's definitely, in all those rooms, you'll get something has been changed. Yeah. And you're like, wow, we are uniquely different. <laughs> and you have to breathe in, breathe out, Alice, and yeah, accept that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it, it's been amazing, and it's also adventurous knowing him in that way. Mm. Delicious. Yeah. How has it been? <coughs> For that one year, uh -huh. uh, I had to like align my mind and thoughts. Mm -hmm. Because every time I will do something, mm. I would consult someone. Mm -hmm. But right now, I have to consult. I don't do anything without asking her. Yeah, because uh, now you are two of you. You're not alone. Now you've become one, but you need to consult. You can't do things without asking. So I, I think I had to adjust my mind to that because mm -hmm. I was used to make decisions, move along, and do things alone. But right now, I have to make decisions, but I have to consult before I do the decisions mm -hmm. that I make. Yeah, it was another journey mm -hmm. right now, learning those things, embracing it, yeah. Ah, amazing. Yeah. Do you have children? Not, Not yet. yet. Not so yet. between you two, who looks like the strict parents? <laughs> 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 I feel like we should we should play the shoe game. <laughs> or the shoe game. <laughs> yes, I feel like yeah. we should play the shoe game. Yeah. Uh, so let me find questions. Okay. I would uh, we, we, we break we do a nice breaker, we should do a shoe game and then go back to the conversation. Because of course now you've lived together. Mm. Uh -huh. who is like who is more likely to burn down the house when they are cooking dinner? <laughs> <laughs> I think the look has, has told you. <laughs> you. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, who looks like? Okay, we've already talked about strict parenting. Um, who will survive longer on a deserted island? Uh -uh, no, one of you. <laughs> <laughs> deserted island. No what? You know what? Like Mko Kwaki, I kid desert. Who will survive better? Who will survive better? I think I will. She will take longer. Mm. Okay. So who's the who's the spendthrift between both of you? Hey. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the carpet. So she is the finance manager. Yeah, she oh is. wow. Yeah. So who is better at keeping secrets? She is. she is. So she will easily surprise you. Yeah. Me, I cannot. I, I will tell you everything. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you everything. So, uh, who is more likely to get injured in an activity? <laughs> <laughs> who is more adventurous? Mm -hmm. Twenty bungee jumping, twenty zip lining. <laughs> she is because oh. she is. Uh, let me say sanguine. Mm. Ah. She has that uh, hype. Do you see anything mm. that involves <laughs> those things? <laughs> Adrenaline, no. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just stay. So, who is more romantic? Yes. Hey, mm. Jamel. So, you're mm. the one to plan for candlelit dinner. Mm. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow, amazing. Um, <clears throat> there's something that I had on my head I wanted to ask you, not, not related to this. Why is it disappearing? 
appearing. Why is it disappearing? Okay, anyway, it's okay. Mm. Who said sorry the first one in a, in a conflict? I do. Mm. Ah, okay. You're getting points. <laughs> Who is liking to forget birthdays, anniversaries? <laughs> Clearly, we are seeing Kule in the end. But you count months. <laughs> Who is likely to forget? Yeah. To forget. Mm. To forget birthdays and birthdays. Uh -huh. Ah. And she looks like she's the one who keeps dates. Mm. Not all. <laughs> She's a good finan so financial <laughs> person. So who is likely to leave uh, dishes in the sink? Hey, Javeni, Alice is in a here. Who makes better breakfast? He does. I do. When I hope you take notes, I can see a Campbell. <laughs> I hope you're taking notes. People, men are cooking breakfast for their wives, eh? And they're Actually, <laughs> 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 learn. learn from men who've gone before you. Mm. Who's the night owl? She's. <laughs> ah, she's a night person. Mm. Who would rather be outdoors? I. You would rather be outdoors. Mm. Who spends most time getting ready? Of course. <laughs> 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 uh, who takes the blankets? Nani ana fruit yanga mwingine blanket kilala? You mimi. Who takes the longest showers? You again. You again. But what is it with men and taking showers forever? I think it's therapeutic or something. We enjoy. Why are you always why are you always doing in those bathrooms? And then they will go to the toilet and they take long yeah. ten minutes. And then they will just find a tukus kia to watch reels. And then they dress in two minutes. No, at least we save our time when you're dressing. Mm. <laughs> because when you, <laughs> when you guys are dressing, you take long. Who will want kids first? Me. Okay. Yeah. Amazing, isn't it? Uh, okay, we already know who fell in love first. Mm -hmm. We already know who made the first move and who planned the first date. Who is more likely to stay long, to stay long at work? Mm. I think me. <laughs> <laughs> so three years down the line, what are some of the lessons you've learned? Good start. Okay. Uh, I've learned that love is not a feeling. Mm -hmm. yeah. Love is a commitment. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, a feeling will come and fizzle out. Mm -hmm. But love is a commitment that you're dedicated to the person. Mm -hmm. For example, if you're coming into a commitment with someone or marriage, mm -hmm. it is a it's a commitment. It's a long-time commitment. You will see their weaknesses and whatever they are going through. But you'll still say, I'm dedicated to this person. Mm -hmm. uh, let me give a good example. Like when God came to us. He saw our weaknesses, but he still was committed to us mm. to the long haul, till the end. Mm. The same way also, that's why the Bible says in Ephesians 5, that you should, husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church. So love is a commitment, it's not a feeling. Because a feeling will fizzle out. Yes, mm. like now we are saying Valentine, it will fizzle out if it's just an, mm. uh, a feeling. But if it's love, it's a commitment. It's a long time. You are there mm. for the whole time. Yeah, it doesn't matter the situation of that person, the feelings of that person, how the person is, yeah, you are there for the whole time. Amazing. Yeah. Alice. yeah. Mm -hmm. What are some of the lessons you've taken down the line? Mm -hmm. I think first of all, I say that God surprised me mm -hmm. about myself. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> I didn't, I think before we got married, I was, I was, I was worried. I'm like, hey, how will I do this thing? And I got married at 25, so I'm wondering, I, Jesus, this thing, as I was growing up, it was supposed to be like at 31, 32, 35, you get, yeah, you figure out your life, nini, nini. And now here it is, and I was quite worried because I thought I'd not make a good wife. Mm -hmm. And I, when I got in, I think I kept on relying on God in e almost everything, actually everything. And it helped me 
be a good wife to him and sometimes he'd he'd make it easy for me because he'd comment and say good things i'm like hey i did that wow <laughs> so i was learning about myself and about him at the same time in this institution and yes it's amazing what i can do now and who i am now and like nothing is impossible mm -hmm. really with god i've seen that with our marriage mm -hmm. like Nothing is too hard for God, uh, no matter where you're starting and how you're starting. Like nothing, nothing is literally too hard for God. For you, in your eyes, it may be hard. Mm -hmm. But now when you look at him and he makes things palatable for you and you're able to live from that. Mm -hmm. uh, and I actually also learned more about love in marriage. And the way I said, it's not just a feeling. Mm -hmm. And I think that the way it has been portrayed to be a feeling, it would, that's what used to make me feel like it's not, you, it's not serious. Like, why is it a feeling? Because mm -hmm. I can be sick today and tomorrow I'm okay. And I'll feel some pain and then I don't feel again. You get like it's mm -hmm. fading. Mm -hmm. So I didn't want something that fades. And now when I got into marriage, I got to know that it's actually a commitment. Like, um, this is a choice I made, and I'm committing to stay in it, no matter what, with the help of Jesus in it. And I think that's what made it so easy to do it, no matter what. <laughs> yes. Amazing. Mm. What is that one thing you wished they told you, both of you, like, as individuals, before you got married? I don't know, maybe we start with Alice. Again? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's start with Delicious then. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I would have wanted to be told that uh, you should be ready to sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you need to lay down like yourself mm -hmm. because at times, uh, the way I was saying that I, I was alone before mm -hmm. meeting Alice, but right now I've realized that I can't do things by myself. There's that part of sacrifice. Mm -hmm. You lay down mm -hmm. things on behalf of your partner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so th there's a part of sacrifice. That's something I needed to learn before. But right now, I thank God because in the journey, I've learned to sacrifice, mm -hmm. yeah, to lay down my will <laughs> and the times to follow, <laughs> yeah, yeah, to find something in her. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ah, yeah. Alice, to be what do you wish they told you mm -hmm. before you got married? Yeah, I wish I was told that submission is not suffering. Mm -hmm. The way it was put. <laughs> it looked like suffering to me and... In marriage, I got to learn that it's actually not suffering. Mm. It's actually satisfying when you actually submit to him. It makes the work easier. And yes, I think that's it. Submission is not suffering. But you, what would you wish that young couples, people, whether they are married mm. or rather they're getting into their, in their dating mm. uh, phase, what do you wish they would know about marriage? Of course, now we are starting with you mm. because Alice has clearly <laughs> said we start with you. <laughs> uh, getting to marriage, mm. let me say, uh, when you're going to school, usually, like to do law or medicine, people take years to study about it. Mm. So, also, marriage, I will say, it's good also to learn about it. Mm. Take time, like, even listen to book, uh, read, read books, mm. listen to things about marriage, mm. go to those uh, seminars that are being held like right now there was a seminar being held about marriage a uh, seminar that uh, king's leo Konko was here mm -hmm. so you should take those things they are very key you are learning something mm -hmm. it's like if you can prepare for other things like law and yeah. those other things to practice uh, marriage is the only institution that you're given a certificate and you have not yet even practiced mm -hmm. so it's good to like learn read books their books are talking about marriage mm -hmm. read about those things because it will help you because i've known also uh, knowledge is key Without knowledge, that's why the Bible says that my people perish because of lack of knowledge. But if you can get prepared, learn, get mm -hmm. uh, other people that can mentor you in the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you are desiring to get married, you've seen people that are working, their marriage is working. Mm -hmm. It's good to open up to those kind of people to mentor you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sit under those kind of people to guide you. Mm -hmm. Because you've seen also like ourselves, we have seen our pastor, their marriage is working. Also my parent, uh, my dad and mom, they have stayed for long in marriage. So. I saw it, they portrayed it to me. This mm. is how marriage should be. Yeah. Mm. 
Alice, yeah. what would you want a young couple to know? I think, uh, first of all, I'm agreeing with him mm -hmm. fully. Marriage is awesome and easy when done with God in it. And another thing is that we should know that marriage is it's not it, it doesn't it doesn't just happen. Mm. Hey, it's happening. Where <laughs> you're going? <home. laughs> yeah. It's work. Yeah. yeah, you have to put work in it. The same way when you're pushing your sales to work, you also have to work on your marriage, no matter what. Mm. <laughs> yes, you have to put in work. You don't just appear and look pretty and sit pretty and wait for things to work. And it involves, it, it's not all about you. Mm. It's about you and this person that you're getting married to and God. He's in the story mm. and you see like the way today you've, you guys have called us here, mm. it means there's a purpose in that marriage. Mm. So you have to first find why are you getting married to that mm. person? Mm. Why do you even desire to get married? Where is the desire coming from? Is it just to have a title of a missus or a mister or a husband or a, or a wife or there is a purpose that God dropped in you and dropped in him and now you come together to fulfill it. The purpose has to be there. I remember one time when we were going to get married and we met with a friend of us called Eli Hongonga. He's from our church as well. So I remember he asked us, why are you getting married? And where we sat and thought about it. And what I said and what he said actually aligned. And that's what now we were running with. I'm like, we have a purpose in this marriage. And it has to work because there's a purpose God has placed in us to fulfill in this earth. Mm -hmm. Now before we are transmitted to our place with him in heaven, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, where well, we'll be a brother and a sister. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Like there's a purpose. So if you start it and there's no purpose in it like not really a goal but a purpose that God has put in you then it's going to crumble because there's nothing you're standing on, even a w just a word that you're standing on. Mm. Yes. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Thank yeah. you so much for coming. Thank you for sharing mm. your story. You know, it means me and my friends. Me and my friends. I love listening to couples. Yeah. I'm not married yet. But I love listening to couples who've gone before us, mm. who've gone before me to know their lessons, to know the things they would wish they knew so that I learn from yeah. their mistakes. Do you want to tell each other something? Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, hey. We can finish it up on that mm -hmm. note. Yeah. The initials, you don't have something nice to tell you, right? <laughs> <laughs> You're just asking. <laughs> okay. Okay. I would want you guys to tell each other something nice. It's yeah. Valentine's. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love you, Alice. <laughs> yes. You are my best friend. And I thank God for you. Mm. I thank God that you are that jewel that God gave to me the gift that God gave to me and I treasure you. I don't take you lightly, lightly. Mm. <laughs> you are so precious to me. me small, I don't small. take you small, small. You are precious to me and I value you. Mm. Yeah, and I thank God because there's so much potential that God has put inside of you that I believe that God is bringing out even mm. as you're spending time together. You are so special. Love you. Alice, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you even you. made me g get out my <laughs> phone to start taking <laughs> videos. <laughs> I am busy taking videos for the couples. Alice, please do us the honors. Yes, um, donations. I'm glad doing this with you. You know, <laughs> our pastors told us when you're, when you're talking to the person, look at them. Yeah. Yes, donations. I'm very happy that I'm doing this with you yeah. today. And this is one of the things that I, that I think we signed up for when you got married. <laughs> and here we are, and I'm here to stay again. Mm -hmm. so. Yes, and I love you very much. <laughs> uh, I consider your feelings. Yes, I still desire to continue being your wife. Yes, happy Valentine's Day. But as I said, tissue. Ah. <laughs> 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 Can you guys give me? I think our director forgot tissues. Where? 
because the love is loving. I can thank you so much. We, for the Lord, from your people. <laughs> Eh usha ifanye uka sikia uko single. Yeah. Have you ever sat with a couple and you're single and they're there loving each other and you have to feel like a third wheel. But single. My director is saying I've been here maua ni wache story. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much. It has been such an amazing time with both of you. I am so happy. Thank you for making time. We really appreciate you. Thank you. Alice Amesema, she still desires to keep being Denisha's wife. And Denisha has said he is happy. He's doing life with Alice. Miss Juma Penzi na kupatia wapi. But if people like this are doing life and they are winning, I don't know why you think you can't find love and you can't win. It doesn't have to be today. It doesn't have to be on a Valentine's Day. You don't have to do what people are doing out there. Make your story yours and make it unique. Bottom line, it is yours. It is not anyone else's story. Do not touch that dial. We are coming back with more.